Well, you have a chance to catch some amazing aerial performances this weekend at the Smoky Mountain Air Show, but the show is not slowing down usual airport travel. Good Morning Tennessee reporter Lexi Spivak brings us advice for those taking to the skies during the festivities. Good morning, Lexi. Good morning, Allison. While we're all expecting quite a show from the nation's best pilots, the pilots of our commercial aircraft as well in Knoxville will still be hard at work. So we have to keep that in mind. And as thousands come to the airport for that show, we want to remind you that you are not allowed to park in the terminal parking area of the airport. That is only for traveler, travelers utilizing the airport. Parking for the air show is out in the fields surrounding the airport. And while the air show itself is free, as we've mentioned, you still need to pay for parking passes in those premium viewing tickets. Now, Becky Huckabee, the vice president of public relations for the airport authority, gave some warnings for travelers ahead of the weekend. Give yourself plenty of time to get to the airport because there will be more traffic along Alcoa Highway headed out to the facility. We will continue to have those flights. You will see an acrobatic performance and then five minutes later you may see an Allegiant or a Delta flame landing in our air airspace. So we will continue to operate our airport as it normally would. All right, so keep that in mind. Again, the air show will be this Saturday and Sunday. You're encouraged to get there early to get a good spot. So performances are going to start each day around noon. Then they will wrap up around 4.15-ish, and we know the gates are open much earlier than that at 8 o'clock. We have all these details and a link to the air show website online at WATE.com. All right, thank you, Lexi. Metal